The first journal video got over a hundred thousand likes in less than three days. Uh, so I felt like that was a good indication that you guys wanted another one. No matter how embarrassing and cringy and painful it is, I gotta give you what you want. <laughs> and I mean, I guess it's kind of like therapy. But yeah, let's just go with that. If this video gets another hundred thousand likes, I will make a part three. But we are nearing the end of this book, but don't worry, I have this one. <laughs> and then at the end of this one, I go into high school, which I have printed all of my high school blogs. Remember when like live journal was a thing, if any of you were old enough? But yeah, if we keep hitting 100,000 likes, I will keep going with reliving my most painful, embarrassing memories with you guys. I mean, the problems in high school get a lot more real. These are kind of dumb and funny to laugh at, but it'll be interesting for you guys to come along through the progression of of my life via my journal. Also, these videos take a while. They take like two to three weeks between getting it filmed, getting it edited, getting it animated, getting it edited again, and then up. So just be patient. <laughs> if you didn't see the first video, you should. It's in the description. I'll also try to put it popping up in the corner there. Watch that first. But to recap, I'm obsessed with finding a boyfriend even though I'm 11, almost 12. My friends are mean to me because <laughs> they didn't invite me to their sleepover. I didn't make it to the cute list. And I really like this boy named A on and off constantly <laughs> and talk about it all the time. And uh, yeah, he doesn't like me. So, <laughs> you know, very typical preteen problems. Ahem. <clears throat> Can't believe I'm doing this again. Just to once again set the time frame when this was written. This is June 20th, 2001. Dear Journal, hi. Yup, you're right. That is my paper kitty named Patch. <laughs> We're off to a great start. Here's Patches <laughs> for anybody who's curious. Patches matches my new hair. I was bored today, what could I say? My birthday is coming up soon. This is what I want so far. <laughs> Ready for some real 2000s wish list items? <laughs> Number one, Destiny's Child Survivor CD. Number two, 3LW CD. They're not even around anymore. <laughs> Neither is Destiny's Child, technically. <laughs> Number three, Eden's Crush new CD. No idea who that was. <laughs> Number four, money. Of course, money. Then I move on to look at what Chinese fortune I got today. Chinese like fortune cookie fortune. <laughs> and I pasted it in here, which here's a photo of as well. An unexpected event will bring you riches. I apparently really wanted money <laughs> so that I could buy a boyfriend. <laughs> by now you should know that riches, by now journal, you should know that riches is not always money and gold. It could also mean love, happiness, and friendship. <laughs> Does it? So it could mean one, of course, I knew it was leading to this, an unexpected event will bring me a boyfriend. <laughs> Two, an unexpected event will bring me happiness. Apparently I didn't have that. It was because I didn't have a boyfriend. It was my main objective, apparently. Or three, an unexpected event will bring me friends. <laughs> because my current ones are so mean to me. All are good. Oh, today I watched the movie Bring It On. <laughs> It is the best movie. Quote from Lauren in 2001, Bring It On was the epitome of films. <laughs> I also forgot to say summer basketball practice started, so in case I mention it, you know what I am talking about because nobody would know otherwise what basketball was. Thank you, Lauren. And then I did lots of trips with my family, which I know you're all not here to listen to because none of it was dramatic. <laughs> Thank you, family, for giving me normal, non-dramatic fun vacations. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, also want to point out I got lots of good feedback from my family who watched this so, <laughs> and friends. And then also people who related to this time in their lives that they were also the same way. So thank you. Thank you for making me not feel crazy or as crazy. Dear Journal, July 8th, 2001. So the day after my birthday. Hey, it's me. <laughs> I got all the things I wanted for my birthday except Zelda for Game Boy Color. See, I was a gamer. But I'm gonna buy it on my own. I apparently got the money I wanted. Don't tell anyone, but I miss A. Even though I'm not going out with him and he probably doesn't like me. <laughs> He doesn't. I still miss him, you know? I also saw this cute kid at Delaware. 
<laughs> sure, during one of my family vacations. Next time I see a cute boy, I'm gonna make conversation and not be shy. <laughs> Pretty sure that never happened. There are so many cute boys out there and I have to make a good impression on all of them, even though half of them don't even like me. Oh my god, I really want like my daughter Melody to like, I'm just gonna not say anything about boys or finding love or anything, anything. I don't want her to be like this. Enjoy life, 11, 12 year old girls, please. You have plenty of time to meet boys or girls or whoever you want to meet, okay? You have plenty of time. <laughs> Enjoy time with your friends and doing your hobbies. In the meantime, I hope there is a cute guy that comes to our class next year for me to flirt with. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, I better go to bed. I have to wake up early tomorrow. I still don't know how to write tomorrow. For camp, wish me luck with the boys there. Not playing basketball well. Oh my god. Priorities, Lauren. Dear Journal, July 30th, 2001. I'm just skipping ahead because it's a lot of the same stuff over and over. I had basketball practice today. It seems like I'm getting better than I was last year, but I'm still not sure if I'll make the team. I probably won't do basketball in high school though. Let's face it, high school basketball teams pick really good players and let's face facts, I <laughs> I can't even get through this sentence. Let's face facts. I'm no Michael Jordan. <laughs> I'm so glad that you realized that, young lord. I'm so glad. I was really bad at basketball. Wow. Wow. There's some a lot of self-actualization in this one. Today, I just got this feeling that maybe I am being <laughs> too desperate to have a boyfriend lately. Yes, girl. Focus on you, girl. I think if a boy likes you, he will ask you out. Or if a boy wants to, he should ask a girl to dance, not be a girl asking a boy out or a girl asking a boy to dance. Oh, Lauren, you're a little bit sexist back then. Girls can do whatever boys can do, okay? This way, you know if they really like you or they really want to dance with you. And then I drew an illustration. Here you go. <laughs> Then we had visiting my sister for the summer. I did a lot during the summer. Thank you, family. <laughs> August 21st, 2001, dear journal. Tomorrow will be my third day at basketball camp. <laughs> oh no. It was so much fun, but guess what? Egos, <laughs> of course. Now he's gonna distract me from my basketball practice. But don't worry, I'm no Michael Jordan. <laughs> I've been doing the best I've ever done, like playing basketball, and today I learned why. When I told G, my friend, not my best friend, my other friend, why I wondered how I was doing better at camp and not during regular games, she said, because at regular games and practice drills, no one gives me the ball. <laughs> this is so sad. Why is my life so sad? Sounds so sad. Nobody wants to give me the ball. Nobody loves me. Everybody's mean to me. And I'm no Michael Jordan. And she was right. No one <laughs> would pass me the ball as much as they should. Why? Because they don't think I'll make it. Why did they think that? Because they don't pass me the ball. So I can't show them that I can make it. Oh, at camp, my best friend, who by the way, watched the first video <laughs> and tweeted at me. Hi. <laughs> my best friend and A, the boy I like, are on the same team. Oh no. I saw her always sitting and talking by him. How could you do that? I hope she is not trying to make him like her like her. Like, <laughs> she was literally probably just talking to him as a human being and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> She's gonna take him away from me. You know, the boy that doesn't like me. <laughs> Friends don't do that. I trust her though. Do you though? Cause it sounds like you don't. <laughs> She knows that I like him. I have been trying to show off in front of him, but it's not working. Because <laughs> I'm so bad at basketball. Why was that the thing I'm trying to be good at? After telling me he didn't like me, choosing some other girl over me when we both asked him out around the same time. I guess I didn't write about him, but I read it now. And after all that, I still like him. Jesus, girl, pick yourself up, Lord. I wish I could show him this, but to ask him out again, please, for the love of God, do not. Like I said before, I think that he, the boy should ask the girl out. 
so that you know they really like you. See ya. I will be telling you what happens the rest of the week. I'm sure you will. Okay, we have reached the epitome of uh, embarrassing moments with this next journal entry. It's written in red too, as if I wanted people to see this most private embarrassing entry. And now I'm gonna read it on the internet. So <laughs> mainly because I feel like it could be a relatable thing to some people. That's the only reason. <laughs> August 25th, 2001. Dear journal, don't tell anyone, but I have a problem. This is also one of the first entries that does not center around boys. <laughs> I think, <laughs> oh God. Uh, okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's relatable and hopeful to other young girls. I will get through this. I think I <laughs> have bigger um, bosoms, chest area that I am supposed to. I hope no one thinks I stuff. So I do remember when I was this age, it was like a big thing that some of the girls were like stuffing their bras. I never did that because I was already worried that I had a bigger situation going on. <laughs> <laughs> Preteen girls are very confusing. Now I think that is the reason no one likes me. <laughs> Just to put that in this perspective for you, in the mind of an 11 year old or 12 year old girl. I'm 12 now. I can't wait till I get older and I look more normal compared to other girls by then. Most of my friends say I'm lucky, but I don't think so. <laughs> then my friends make me feel bad when they come over. Oh my God. So I had to buy Jesus. like. Bras, obviously, at 12. Some of my friends weren't wearing them at that time and they would come over and basically like try them on and say, look, I am Lauren. Like they would try it on and like put paper in them. I mean like, look, I'm Lauren. <laughs> Joke's on them now. Oh, sorry. They would stuff them with stuffed animals, not tissues. It hurts my feelings. Lately, I don't want to wear bathing suits. So I was also not going swimming because I was very self-conscious, which is funny because yeah, when you get older, that's not so much of a problem. <laughs> Just saying, don't worry about it. I have been making up excuses to not go swimming. Sometimes I get the courage to go in the pool and not really care about what others think, but I still don't feel real comfortable. I have to go to bed. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Poor Lauren, my goodness. I feel like diaries are just, they're therapy. They're therapy for kids. <laughs> and for adults when you reread them and realize how far you've come. Now at my age, I couldn't give a crap about what other people think of me. <laughs> it's very freeing. If you don't feel that way yet, hopefully someday you will. You will enjoy life so much more. <laughs> I have to make this short, but I have to tell you something. I think A likes me. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Why is this, why do I feel like this is just deja vu over and over? This is September 20th, 2001, by the way. He has been flirting with me nonstop and what luck, the dance is tomorrow. <laughs> I think he's going, I hope he's going. I'll fill you in tomorrow. Let's see what happened at the dance. September 25th, 2001, dear journal. Boy, did I have a tiring weekend. Well, here's the scoop. I went to the dance. Things went good in the beginning. In the beginning. Wait, what happened after? What happened? What happened? Everything was going normal, and then I got to slow dance with A. Oh my god. <laughs> feel like I'm watching a movie unfold. A teen movie. He made me get this close, and I will insert a photo, just so you know how close. How close we danced. <laughs> by the way, if you're confused by my drawings, I tried to draw people like the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> you get the point. It was very close. Another thing. He put his hands all the way around my waist. Oh my God. Spicy. <laughs> we are only good friends. So far, I think, in parentheses. It was cool because that was the closest I've ever been to a boy. <laughs> then he told me in exact words, hey, um, if on Friday, I'm not, you know, dancing slow and fast, get me to start dancing. That's a promise. I'll have to keep what? In the hell? <laughs> what in good God does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> okay. He probably didn't like me. It was like, what do I talk about with this girl who's obviously obsessed with me because she has asked me out multiple times and every time I'm like, no, try to be nice. Hey, you know what? I appreciate you. You were trying to be nice with me. I just... 
dancers would not listen. We had a dance three days after the other dance. How many dances do we have? How many dances do people have in school? Then I was pretty good until my sleepover. I was invited to a sleepover, finally. <laughs> Uh, but what happened at the sleepover? Why am I upset about the sleep? Why were things good till the sleepover? That can't be, that can't be good. It was with my best friend, my other friend G, and then our friend E, who's new to the story. So we hung out, watched movies. Then we did the tra traditional talk about boys, of course. The main topic of our lives. I told G, but she said, that's just how he dances. Oh, okay. So I was like, he danced really close to me. I think this means something. And then my friend was like, reality check. Uh, no. You're not special, he just did. <laughs> Glass shattered. Then my hopes dropped. I knew somehow she was right. <laughs> I have this necklace that I bought with my cousins. When I bought it, I was thinking only of what A would think of it. Girl, girl. I just wanna like slap my 12 year old self. What are you doing? I mean, I understand that life just seems like earth shattering when people don't like you or seem like they like you or I get it. I get it, especially at that age, I get it. I wanna give you a hug and like take you away. <laughs> take you away from school for a little bit. Take you to a retreat, a boy cleansing ret retreat, I don't know. Oh, the necklace, yes. I swear it is cursed. <laughs> a good curse though. Huh? Every time I wear it around A, something good happens. I'm telling you, I was like a little, I had witch energy back then. I was rubbing sticker stars in the last one. Now I got a necklace. I'm just <laughs> like hoping brings me luck. Like I wore it when I got to sit by him in math and he flirted with me. And then I wore it to the dance when all of this happened. So I'm wearing it to the next dance. Oops, I have to go to bed. I will write what happens. Hold on. Two days later, hey, Right now, I'm not sure if I like A as much. Two days later, after just writing all that, <laughs> I get over people very quickly. I mean, I still kind of like him, but not as much. And the dance is tomorrow. Oh my God, yeah, I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end after this, but I then go on a tangent. I still wanna dance with A again. I wanna see if he dances with me as close as he did the last time. And also, I want to see how he dances with other girls <laughs> to see if dancing close is just how he likes to dance. <laughs> like my friend had told me, I'm gonna compare and be a crazy stalker person that I'm gonna take all of the things, my necklace and the stars and piece of his hair and I'm just gonna burn it. <laughs> it's some sort of witch <laughs> ritual to make him love me. That's probably what's gonna happen next. I don't know. I haven't read further ahead. I just thought of something. Last year when I danced with him, he never danced that close. So maybe G is wrong, but I thought I don't like him. I just said at the beginning I didn't like him. I still need to find something to wear. Gotta go. I'll write to you the day after the dance. Bye. And that's a good cliffhanger. Like I said earlier, make sure you leave a like. If we hit 100,000, I will do another one and we will see what happens after the dance. And also eventually moving on to high school. I think there's like big gaps between now and high school. So it comes quicker than you think. And high school is very interesting. It's a lot more dark. I will say that. This seems like nothing problems compared to those. But yeah, thank you so much for making this series amazing. I've gotten such good feedback on it and I enjoy making them. I think they're fun and super relatable and can help younger people people that might come across them to realize, hey, maybe I should focus on myself and my friends and not boys and or girls that I want to date. <laughs> and until the next one, why not check out this video? It's me dyeing my hair like this myself, using bleach for the first time ever, like a rebellious teenager, just to like go with this whole theme, you know? Also subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will see you guys soon.